What's up everybody, Effortless Roller here. So we got the birds up again. I've been having a pair of Coopers that has just been massacring my kit. This is my Cockbirds. I have put about six of them away. I got seven of them that still flies. Um, these guys roll, but um, you know, they're not of quality yet or not to my standard, so I will continue to fly them hard. As you can see, they're rolling. They're rolling. They're pretty active. It's hot. I think it's like 90 degrees. 92. Jeez, it's hot. Um, but, you know, the birds are still cranking it. They're still working it. I know some families, you know, when they get the heat like this, man, they shut down. But my family continued to roll, so. And, and honestly, that's the trait I look for. Um, when I put them away, that's, that's the trait I look for is flying them in the heat and making sure they can still perform. Um, they're not going to be the best. They're not going to be the tightest, as you can tell. Right now, they're sloppy. I know that this kit, you know, you put them in the morning where it's nice and cool, man. They got some velocity on them. But any family of birds, when you put them in the heat, they start to get loose, sloppy. Uh, it's hot. I don't blame them, you know. They got feathers. I'm pretty sure it feels like a coat on them, you know take a marathon runner and put a coat on him or her and you know pretty soon they're gonna be slowing down a bit because they're gonna be way too hot their body's gonna overheat so <clears throat> I approach it with this family and any other family I work with I don't expect them to be top-notch at this time of the year when it's hot in the summer here but it's hot it's humid just standing here recording this oh my goodness I can feel the heat my whole body just sweating. Um, but yeah, you know, I put I put the really good birds. I've lost actually a really, I think like three or four really, really good birds to the bird of prey already. Um, but yeah, you know, it's tough. Hopefully he don't show up. Um, but yeah, these guys still got to improve. So I am, I'm just giving them time to improve. But, uh, decided I'm not going to fly for the Nationals this year since I'm not even red breeding anything yet. Um, I don't have birds to replace these. So, next year, I'm going to have to come up with a game plan. I know I have, a, I have about 20 hens, and I just loaned out six. Um, so, I still got a few of my hens right there. I got about 14 of them. Um, but yeah, that's them right there. My hand. Got 14 of them. And like I said, cockbirds, I have those seven that's flying. And I put like six or seven away. So 14. And I'm at the minimum of birds for flying the 20 bird kit which kind of sucks you know if I had um, at least 25 of each I would feel more comfortable but right now I got 20 hens and I got seven cockbirds flying so who knows how next year will be like for me but hopefully I can get one round um, I only got a few babies but like I said the hawk took them took one already too so man they're making me work for sure making me work these guys are out and flying about ready uh, but like I said it's just been brutal 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 so hopefully I can find time to put these birds up and see what they're worth but man they were kidding already young birds young young birds and they're kidding already so i'm happy with the results but man getting slaughtered by that hawk is not fun so yeah guys you know hopefully 
we can get them up and going. Oh. But yeah, guys, nothing special. Just kind of been a while since I posted up a video. Just thought I'd do one real quick. Um, been working on my breeder loft and whatnot. And haven't had much time to watch the birds. I've just been tossing them up. And I noticed less and less were coming. And I started watching them for like two weeks here. And I noticed, man, every time I fly, you know, one or two are getting snatched up. And finally figured out that there's a pair that's around here somewhere and they don't miss if they come out they do not miss so who knows they just might not out come right at this kit yet but if they do i'll be in trouble i'll lose another one but again you know birds are rolling doing good kidding i just need them to uh perform to the fullest you know but yeah guys Effortless roller, we out. Oh yeah, let me show you guys real quick the cocks that I put away. So these are the cocks that I put away. Put a few breeders in here. That little blue bar with the white right there. He survived two hawk attacks. Okay, and he's a breeder, but I decided to fly him out. And guess what, man? That boy's ripping it up. So. <laughs> He's going to be put over here, and hopefully these guys will be the ones that will be flying for, I don't know, the World Cup next year, maybe, if I decide to fly. That's a breeder cock bird, and I put him up in the air. He's doing a nice 30-foot rolls again, so he's back over here to save for later. Um, Mr. Greentails, right there. He is still a you know the August here we're gonna be doing the MFRG we're gonna be doing a single bird fly I want to get him certified but with the losses that I'm getting right now it's not worth it for me to put that bird in um, so I'm not even gonna fly anything for that um, they go another bird up there that's worth certifying as well man that big boy right there he can rip it up in the sky but you know what I'm not gonna risk him to the Hawks Put too much time into him these birds are ready they're already good as is so i'm not gonna try to keep pushing them for no reason that's just gonna be a, a management error on my end right managements that overwork the good workers they'll they'll run to the ground okay and i'm not gonna do that to my birds so you know i'm gonna hold them back for the time being i hate doing that i would love to fly them instead but for the time being, if I'm trying to get competitive, I need to build my numbers up. So, hopefully soon I'll have a solid kit to go up against the guys here. And I look forward to it. But yeah, guys, effortless roller, we out.